I feel like it's shaping up to be a dry summer. So, so yeah, so maybe now we'll take a moment to reflect on the fact that in a few months time, we'll be praying for rain. So it is the morning after the day before. Um, so scanning was yesterday and we were all marked up. As you can see, we've got our quads here. And it's quite a nice morning, really. Nice to hear the birds again. And Andy's bit of wall is looking really good. Um, so it starts from that post over there. Goes long. It's looking great. And that sheep there, a bit disappointed, she was scanned as empty. And she was a first timer last year, so uh, not sure what to do with her, really. Coco. Hey Coco. So it's another very gloomy, wet and uninspiring week here on the hall. As you can see, the sheep have finished their hay pretty much. I'm just going to get in there now and pull the feeders away. And then this morning, later on when Nick gets up, we'll get out of this muddy mess and we'll go and populate the field over in that direction. Good morning, my love. So they can pick it over for a couple of hours. I'm not going to lie, I'm so fed up with the mud and the wet and the rain. It's just, it just feels endless and it really is just dragging me down and making me question, question my life choices on a daily basis because farming shouldn't be this horrible for this many months of the year and the state of the land um, is demoralising. I feel like farming is not good for my mental health. We've got to get out of this hellhole today. Um, so yeah, so some people in the past have said, why don't you put the feeders at the top of the hill? Well, top of the hill would mean driving the tractor up there. And I don't want to create tractor tracks, trenches all the way up the field. So I keep the bales as close to the gateways as I possibly can and do minimal amount of driving because anywhere that we have to drive on the ground is now looking terrible. I hope it's feeling mild this morning and I feel all sort of hot and bothered now that I've just been dragging those feeders around. Um, you can hear the birds singing, how nice. <laughs> of course in farming there are many wonderful moments that um, keep us coming back for more. Um, but there are also many tough moments and I've been reading quite a bit lately about um, you know, in the news, the state of farming, the state of farmers' mental health and how they feel about the future. And it is, it is a serious problem and I understand why. I doubt myself. I wonder whether I'm not strong enough to, to handle it. Um, I question whether it is the right thing for me to be continuing to do this. Um, but for now, it feels like it is. Um, even though 
yeah, it does, it does challenge me. And sometimes I think I would be, I've, I've given myself a much harder time by trying to continue the farm and the campsite um, without any real significant help since dad's been gone. This little group here are the lambs. Um, and that one will be going for the farm shop next. Um, and I'm just gonna give the tails a trim up um, and move them to a different field. Now we are going to head over to the new field. We're going to walk, hopefully nicely. So we are going to Town Head Field. So I'll drop the sheep off and then we will go back and pick up the feeders and then take the feeders up after. So we're going to be using the new gateways that we worked on in January when it was frosty. go. This is my mate Nibbles. As you can see, I have a good relationship with my IUs. They, they're not afraid of me <laughs> and uh, they're quite obedient. radioactive mud. Yeah. Even the sun's making an appearance. And Wally! Hello Wally Wally! Oh, nice Having three again. The weather. So they said it was going to be a bad day and it's not and we love these days. I'm positively ecstatic in comparison to when the sun's not out. Um, yeah, so we've moved the sheep and now we've just brought the feeders down and we're going to set them up and put a new salt out for them. They do like salt, our sheep. Dry sheep. Things that farmers get excited about. Dry sheep, yeah. fresh grass. New bale. So the sheep have got new bales in and we've got no mud at this current time in here which is nice so most what's the word must enjoy it while we can So it's a gorgeous morning, the birds are going for it. The sheep seem to be settled in here, which is nice. 
And I think it has been raining overnight again because the ground feels wetter and it's wet um, underfoot. But look at that blue sky. It's kind of early on in the season to be prolapsing, but we will have to catch her now and get that back in and then we can put a harness on her to stop it from coming out again. Unfortunately this morning we have got our first prolapse of the year. So it's a ewe that's marked for three. Um, so we can't really hang around. I'm going to walk all the sheep down and there was one or two that I noticed yesterday we're not good on the feet since last week, so we're just going to walk them all down to the farm and sort it out. I can see her. Come up! Come up! Come on. So I call this bit the fitness test when they have to walk round the corner and hopefully walk slowly past me and I can and identify before they go down the race who needs to go into the pen to be looked at. Um, so looking for signs of lameness. That's one's lame. Yeah. So while we were doing the prolapse, we just noticed a couple were lame, so we just treated those and it only seemed to be scold. So just a quick spray up of all four uh, legs and off they go again. So that's a good job ticked off um, and we've got going to have another busy day today. Yesterday was busy with the campsite, got a lot of people booked in and because of the time of year it's uh, got to make sure they get all pitched up safely without getting stuck. Um, so that was a long day yesterday and then today we've got water to take round as well as cleaning to do on the campsite a few more people arriving so feels like things are picking up pace already the longer days <laughs> So it's Sunday today and we've had more heavy rain um, overnight and early hours. So it's very wet again um, and I'm just checking around, in particular looking for the one that prolapsed um, to see that all is hopefully well. So what was nice ground a couple of days ago is now mud. The prolapse has not relapsed at this stage, so that's good news. Harness has done its job and I can breathe a bit easier this morning. Twenty first of February today, and it's still raining. Um, it's been raining a lot again. Sheep look pretty fed up this morning, and we're on a hill here on a slope, and there's still standing water, so not good. Um, we had a bit of a break from the rain yesterday, but it's back. Came back with a vengeance. Keep 
hoping and telling myself that one day this sorry situation with the wet will become a distant memory, but it keeps going and going and going. So when is it going to change? There's a little stream running down the lane. It's absolutely vile. Yeah. What's going on, Nick? <laughs> We're trying to find all the lambing stuff for uh, this year. From last year. It's, we've located certain things. We're actually more organised than I thought we might be. So, hmm. We've got some emergency supplies. We've got some colostrum. It's still in date. And it's such a miserable, horrible day. We thought it was a good day to try and do something like this because we can't really do anything outdoors. We can get organised. And I've got my list of all the things that I might need for lambing. So I think we're going to go down to the farm store maybe and just like check, check off anything that we haven't got. We've got rings, we've got iodine, we've got calcium, we've got some colostrum. We've got a tiny bit of lamb milk powder. We need some sprays. Moving. Moving to something drier, Marina. <laughs> We're going to have a walk through the race and another look for lameness. There's little sweet, sweet Bambi, sweet nibbles. Um, yeah, down the road, okay? So we're ready, ready to move on to slightly fresher grass, everyone. Doris in the lead. Angry looking clouds. So it's the morning after the night before we move the sheep and we're retrieving the feeders <clears throat> so that we can put them in with the sheep where they are now. We've just been having this conversation and I feel like it's shaping up to be a dry summer. Um, you know, I haven't done farming for that many years, but from the years that I have been around doing it, I feel like it's going that way. Um, so, so yeah, so maybe now we'll take a moment to reflect on the fact that in a few months time we'll be praying for rain. <laughs> rain has cleared and it's gone a lot colder it's quite a bit colder hasn't it nick a little bit yeah and we've just popped this bale in for them and it smells so nice like actual just sugar so hopefully they will enjoy it not waste it but they've also got some nice green grass in here too And we've got another weather warning for more heavy rain, so... <sighs> so Thursday afternoon now, Thursday the 22nd of February, and 
because the weather's so grim i'm making a start i'm um, cleaning out the shed so we've got to get all the lambing pens ready and um i'm just gonna make a start of it and just do a bit here and there when i can i'm um, not planning on getting the ewes in for a few days now so i can clear it all out into the middle and then get nick to give me a hand um when i need a hand bringing it forwards and getting it out and getting this whole area all ready for lambing